Margot classified her favorite paintings hanging in a museum by both size and dominant color. The results are in the table above. We have this table, so we have dominant color, we have large size, small size, we have a bunch of blanks here. I'm guessing we're going to have to fill some of these out. Margot found that, okay, this is interesting. Margot found that one fourth of her favorite large paintings were blue. How many of Margot's favorite paintings have red as the dominant color? So we want to figure out how many of her how many of her favorite paintings, whether it's large or small, have red as the dominant color. So we want to figure out the total number that have red as the dominant color. And so to figure this out, I think we're going to have to figure out some of these other blanks. And let's start with the information that they actually gave us. Margot found that one fourth of her favorite large paintings. So this is this is her large her favorite large paintings. This right over here is the total favorite. This is the total favorite large paintings. One fourth of this, one fourth of these of her favorite large paintings are blue. So one fourth of this gives us five. So one fourth of what is equal to five? Or five times four is what? Well, this is, needs to be twenty. Five out of twenty is the same thing as one fourth. And if we know that, then we could start to fill in some of these other blanks. So if we have a total of twenty large paintings and five are blue, then 15 are going to have to be red because the red large ones plus the blue large ones is going to add up to 20. Now if you have 15 red large and if you have four red small, the total number of red is 15 plus four is 19. So 19 of Margot's favorite paintings have red as the dominant color, 19.